California has a wildfire problem. Over the past five or 10 years, massive destructive wildfires have struck a number of regions of the state, uh, sometimes in the same region repeatedly. Right here in the Tahoe Basin in 2021, uh, the Caldor fire burned more than 100,000 hectares and right up against some highly populated areas. It really was a wake up call that we need to manage our forests better. California Resilient Careers and Forestry Program launched in September 2022 when our network of higher education and workforce development partners received a grant through the Good Jobs Challenge program. And it's really aimed at training people for jobs across the forest sector. Everything from clearing vegetation around power lines to becoming regenerative foresters to fighting wildfires, loggers, arborists, the whole gamut that really is the entire supply chain in the forest sector. At the Center for Climate Futures, we're, we're always looking for ways that we can connect challenges that, that people and communities are facing that have some tie into climate and, and find ways that we can use that community college network of trainers and partners to make some good happen. Lake Tahoe Community College is one of those key partners in our project that's providing the kinds of trainings we need to get our forest back on track. One of the big things for us here at Lake Tahoe is managing a wildfire and urban interface and making sure that you know, our students are prepared to get into the workforce, understanding you know, the different assets of living in wildland, living in wildfire, and managing the forest. This program is really unique in that our partners are working directly with employers to make sure that the skills our students are learning are directly applicable to the jobs that are available. One of our partners right now, just down the trail, is the U.S. Forest Service. And, you know, they've offered to accept interns in their VEG program and other departments, you know, coming from our forestry and fire academy programs. And so it's important for us to build those pathways and make sure that our students are ready and able and take advantage of the opportunities, whether it's with the Forest Service or it could be Tahoe Resource Conservation District or California Tahoe Conservancy, CAL FIRE and even some of our local fire agencies to again, go back and contribute to their community here in managing the forest. Among the many things I learned from the program were civil cultural practices, the importance of cultural and prescribed burns in areas like the Lake Tahoe Basin. I got to meet a lot of professionals in the field, see what's going on in the field, see how they do things, see the research that they were performing. So that was incredible. Our program delivers to students a variety of supportive services that they can access to help them be successful in their training program and move into that job at the completion. We're giving them things like transportation support in the form of gas cards or help purchasing really expensive boots that they need for training and work. Maybe it's a Wi-Fi hotspot to help them connect to their online classes or other things that they need to do to apply for a job. It's really a holistic supportive services program. So I've received a ton of support from the college, from the forestry program, from all my peers, from the library here. This is one of the most supportive colleges I've ever been to. The staff and teachers have been great. There is a lot of great counseling and a lot of great coaching in this program that has helped me get from where I started to where I currently am. One of the things we're finding out is that a lot of people, young people in particular, don't even have forestry careers on the radar. One of the tools we've built to help build that awareness is a website called forestrypathways.org. And really that's to help people that are just trying to figure out what's out there, what training programs are there, and then how they match up with different kind of career paths and jobs that are there. We know the scale of this work will continue to increase and we need more people doing this work. These are great jobs. So we're really excited about this program that works with community colleges, which are really the gateway to career in our state to build these careers in, in resilient landscapes and, and wildfire resilience. This is the future. The future is getting more of these projects on the ground, but also empowering, training, building the careers for more of these young people. We really wanna to continue to expand our partnerships. You know, we, we're working with colleges and, and four-year universities across the state, as well as with a number of government agencies, NGO partners, and, and private industry. But we're just finding that everywhere we go, we meet new people that are essential components in this work. And, you know, over the next few years, we hope to help, you know, bring those together.